Positive pressure dehydration is the process of conditioning ambient air to increase its water holding capacity. The fluid is equally distributed and cascaded down through reticulated media and contacts the conditioned airstream. The water is transferred from the oil to the air and is expelled as a moist airstream. Essentially what's involved here is very similar. We have two pumps depending on the flow rates that we use. And we basically pull fluid in, run it through a heater, and deposit it into the reaction chamber, same method. But what's different is instead of pulling a vacuum, we're actually using an industrial blower that's actually pulling outside the ambient air and a massive amount of airflow inside the reaction chamber. And that actually heats the air up. The hotter you get air, the more moisture it can hold. So if you have high humid air, heat it up 10 degrees, you're gonna be dropping the level of humidity of that air. There'll be a transfer of the water in the oil into the air and it gets expelled out the top of the reaction chamber. Vacuum dehydration pulls a vacuum on the ambient air, which in turn expands the air. The air expands roughly four times its original amount and becomes four times drier. The moisture transfers from the wet oil to the dry air via mass transfer and is expelled from the chamber. Moving around to the other side where we have our vacuum chamber. We're using a dry running cloth foot pump to pull a vacuum in our reaction chamber. And what we're using here is a low vac, low heat method. And we'll pull about 17 to 23 inches of vacuum in the chamber. And what's essentially happening, as we pull a vacuum, we expand the air, which actually dries it. So if the humidity in the air was say 70%, and we pull a vacuum onto it, we'll drop it down to about 20%. That dry air comes in contact with the wet oil and we pull it out through there and run it through a condenser. That water vapor that we have is actually gonna condense and collect here in our pot.